guys, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, and that is dry shampoo, not grey hair. Welcome. Today I am going to be doing my makeup for no reason. I just want to go driving, to be honest. I just want to have it's a beautiful day. I want to have my windows down. I want to have my music on. I want to feel the wind in my hair. Plus, my car is probably going to fail the MOT in a few days. So. <laughs> Last chance at freedom with my wee poppy. So I um, I look gross. I thought we'd just do a wee glow up because that's fun. And uh, you know, I'll show you my makeup in natural light. Anyway, we're gonna begin. Um, why am I feeling so weird? I have already moisturized, pre-moisturized because this thing here has changed my life. I have found a few new skincare bits recently that I'm just loving. Like this is my glow recipe. What? I don't even care about skincare, but now I do. This is the Ameliorate Smooth Skin Science Intensive Skin Therapy. I got this, I think it was a Glossy Wax, I think. And then I fell in love with it. Oh, so much. So I sent out a plea to my friends or my sausages. And I was like, guys, if any of you got this in your Glossy Wax and you don't want it, can I have it? So far I've got two. This is from Clara. This one is from an anonymous sausage, but you put sellotape on it, so... Maybe you'll know who you are. So thank you for these. Um, I love it so much. It's quite expensive for this thing. It's fifteen pounds, but <laughs> it's probably the best moisturizer I've ever used in my life. Anyway, moving on. I like to put that on nice and early so it has time to sink in. It needs time to sink in. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Hydration Boost Watermelon Moisture Gel. This is just the makeup I've been doing every time I have been going to see my new friend who. <laughs> I don't want to be crazy overly made up for. I just want to look nice and fresh and nice and fresh and nice and not put them off. So this is what I've been doing. I feel so awkward when I talk about it. Like what if he watches? I would die. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm just gonna splodge some moisturizer. I've already got my brows on because they just take ages and to be honest, Nobody's got the time for that. Quite a lot of moisturiser because we're going very cream product heavy today and I'm going to use my big beef hands. I'm going to take my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm going to take meh, one and a half pumps on my fingers. Who am I? And I'm going to blend in my moisturiser. I know. I know. Trust me. I will look fabulous by the end of this. And this is all about skin. Skin, skinny skin, 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 skin. The reason I'm using my fingers is because I feel like it blends with the moisturizer the best. Before going in with a sponge, I am not crazy, okay? <laughs> oh yes, got my Primark fake nails on. I just have to wear fake nails now because Elena keeps showing me up with how gorgeous her nails always look. So now I've got fake nails on. I'm using my coloured rain sponge, you know. You know me, best one on the market. Smoosh this in. I just want my skin to look like skin. I want someone that I walk past in the street to be like, oh my goodness, she has such lovely skin without makeup on. So jealous, you know? But obviously I'm gonna have a lot of makeup on. Makeup can be very deceitful sometimes, can't it? I'm still in my pajamas. I thought the best way to glow up is just to look like how I look and then change everything about myself so that I look better. That's a glow up, right? Ooh. So this is like quite a nice hydrating foundation and then mixed with a moisturiser, it shears it out so much. Plus I used a tiny bit. And then my skin just looks like skin. Like I will put concealer on, but currently my skin just looks better but not overly done. Also, I've decided against going blonde, just so you all know now, ahead of time. That's my skin. It's just a bit better. Do I need concealer still? Yes, but overall, like, I I'm, I mean, happily go out like this. I mean, I happily go out without makeup on, but not, not to see my new pal. Stage two complete. We are gonna cream contour. I'm gonna use my Ellie Girl Medium Bisque. 
and I like to do this before I put concealer on like actual proper concealer because it's just better for me um, and we're 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 really cream contouring even the schnoz because I feel like this is just it's subtle you don't it's not seen that much but it is seen but it's not seen but it is seen you know what I mean I'm sure I make a lot of sense <clears throat> so how is everyone this day this day is what day the 26th the 26th of September and if you were on Twitter or read the news or do anything the UK is imploding <laughs> I can't deal with it see the other day when they I was making dinner and I was watching Nicola Sturgeon announce the new measures I just started crying in my kitchen as I made my dinner listening to it on the radio yeah just started crying because I'm just I'm so over it and I know that's stupid because it's a global disaster and and all that but I just I feel like we were just kind of getting a little bit normal again and now it's not normal again and in fact it feels like it's just getting worse ignore the chin um and the anxiety is is quite real all the time just want to see my family I'm supposed to be in Aberdeen this week can't do that now oh just so done which I'm sure a lot of you understand and I know a lot of people are like you can't say that it's just how I feel I'm still I'm still wearing a mask when I'm out in in places I'm not meeting more than one household Ugh. then I'm gonna use my benefit Boeing concealer because this is so brightening this is shade one and I I really like this concealer I've really kind of fallen for it first time I tried it I didn't like it but thankfully that's what life's about you try things again and realize ah not too bad I'm uh, having a can of monster so I'm quite meh <laughs> what does that even mean who knows anymore I feel like everything the news Twitter you go on Instagram you just do anything you go on YouTube and it's just all so bad <laughs> I literally feel like the world's ending we're even gonna do full freckles can you believe it I've been doing them like every day and literally loving it so I think what also really bums me out is that just yesterday I was thinking about how like I did a makeup look the other day just sitting playing on my own and I was like oh this boy racer this would be perfect for a Christmas party. And I was like, oh, it's almost gonna be time to be doing Christmas party makeup. Like, no, it's not. We're not doing anything. No parties. Oh, it's almost gonna be time for Halloween party makeup. No. No. Anyway, just have to share my doom and gloom with you. I'm gonna take Fenty. That's the wrong one. I'm gonna take, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna take Fenty Cream Bronzer in In The Sun. Out of focus, don't even care. And my Morphe M405 brush. The reason I'm using this and not my Premark one is because my Premark one is a bit more orange and I wear that more when I am using like a proper, like full foundation, like proper makeup. But when I'm just doing this really sheer makeup, this Fenty Indus Sun is just the perfect shade where it just gives me a bronze sheen. The, the Premark one though is literally going to be my next favourites video. I love it so much. Um, I just wish they maybe had a few shade options and I would get a paler one but the formula, mm, the consistency, mm, the longevity. Mm. Just if you're super, super, super pale, it probably won't work for you. I'm taking this bronzer over my schnoz. I literally hate the word nose and nostrils. Nose isn't so bad, but nostrils is definitely on my list of words I don't love. Bit on the chin, just because I've got a big manly bum chin. 
which someone told me was a sign of strength in a man. What is it in a woman? Just a bum chin. There we go. I know. How do I look this good this quick? Jeans. I have terrible jeans. I have the worst jeans. <laughs> My genetics are awful. Probably an inbred from part human, part highland cow. Who knows? I'm now gonna take my e.l.f. glistening peach stick cream bronze uh, blush. It's a blush. On this lovely 002 from Real Techniques. I think I've got something in my eyes because I have perfect eyesight, but I feel like I'm struggling to read things. I'm gonna press this on, the old cheekaroonies. Because it's a very cream heavy look, like I said, it's all about the skin. Just look good. And you can go a bit heavier, a bit heavier, but not too heavy, but a bit heavier. And then I need to buy, I need to actually go to Superdrug. That's where I could drive. Oh, I could drive to Superdrug. I'm going to take my Morphe Dimension Effect number one, which is the cream highlight. I need to get a cream highlighter. This is the only one I have, this Morphe one, and there's nothing wrong with it, I actually do really like it. But I want one that's slightly lighter, and I want one just to have another option of a cream highlight. Because this is, like I just said, the only one I have. I'm literally hitting the side of my eye, coming out a bit, and then going down. And then just patting with my finger. I think Robert Welsh does that, and I just love how it looks. Hitting the side of my eye and then dragging it down. It's quite like it's not an in your face highlight, but that's why it's good for this kind of look because we're just going for glossy beautifulness. We're not going for, oh, she's she's got heaps of makeup on, you know? You know, guys, you know me, natural queen. I'm just going to get rid of these creases and I'm going to take powder. Don't kill me Robert, it's just the tiniest bit and what I've been reaching for actually is my Huda sugar cookie because it's very pale, translucent, does the job. Look at this, I'm using a brush, this is a crown C512, it's probably an eyeshadow brush or a highlight brush. And I am just going to set my eyes and then the side of my nose because I really don't need to set my entire- this is supposed to be a quick video and I've already been filming for 15 minutes and I've spoken the whole time so like what can I actually edit out and then the side of my nose just because that's where oil gets me nowhere else and eyes because they crease on me no matter what I do. I could put no makeup on. My under eyes will still crease. Then I'm taking my powder brush and the lid of this Huda, which you can see has like nothing in it pretty much. Pretty much nothing. I'm just going to rub my brush on it and then just very gently tippity tap that over. Just for a wee bit of security, but there is no way I'm going to flood my face with powder right now. I don't want to do that and it lasts. I wear this makeup with a mask on and it lasts somehow. What's the science? You tell me. I mean you could leave it here, curl your lashes, put a bit of mascara on, a bit of lip balm, you'd be good to go. You know me, I'm gonna have to go quite a few steps further but it's worth it, trust me. Roy, I am going to use a wee bit of powder product just because I'm addicted to putting makeup on my face, like so many of you. This is my BH Belgian Waffle that Stevie sent me and I still I use it every single day. I love it. I love the shade Buttermilk especially and I can tell that when I run out of this I will have to repurchase it. Oh, and this highlighter. This is my Jaclyn Hill JH06. It's the best bronzer and blush brush ever. I'm literally just going to very gently pat on just a wee pinch and I'm patting because my base is very much unset even though I put a tiny bit of powder on like my base does not want to be disrupted by wiggling brushes back and forth I'm not gonna put any more contour on at all because I just feel like then I would start to look 
to make up I might actually use that highlight and then I've used two things out of that palette. But for, what well, we'll do that first. I need to stop drinking energy juice when I wake up in the morning. Another Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm gonna take powdered sugar. I, I usually go for something a bit more subtle, so I'll tap it off. Just because I can still totally see that Morphe highlight. Yeah, what cream, like stick cream highlight should I get? I know Benefit has the, the their one, but I don't know, that's quite expensive. <laughs> Maybe if I've got a mini one, I could get that. Okay, so just patting it where I patted the Morphe one. And I'm using very little, this is actually a very intense highlighter, it's sick. But I don't want to put on a whole lot. Though, oh, I dipped it in the bronzer. I'm going to take it on my brush, pop it on my eyelids. I love just having highlight on my eyelids. It just looks so nice and glossy and beautiful. Don't forget the inner corner. Oi, 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 oi. Just like that. I usually use Mary Lou by the BAM actually for this, but this is fine and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then blush. I still want to be peachy because it's my favourite, so I'll use Milani Luminoso, which is also a favourite on another JH06, but this time it is a blush brush. Pick pat that on, just a pinch. Just a wee penny penny pinch. Oh, let me show you my skin. When I zoom in, the lighting goes way dark, but then you can actually see what I look like properly. I feel like it's really good to my forehead. Like you can still see like some under blemishes coming through, but I've got a nice sheen. Got a little bit of contour, a wee bit of bronze, and obviously when I've got like hair and outfit on, you know, it'll all come together. Now we're gonna do full freckles. I got sent from ColourPop their freckle pens. They sent me dark brown and soft brown. I definitely use soft brown most. I'm gonna do full 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 full, full freckles. Um I just think they're so summery and beautiful and also because my base is unset and this is a dedicated freckle pen, you can make them so like good looking. I really recommend this freckle pen. Um, you've seen me try full freckles in the past and they've been disastrous to say the least. I go right up into the eye bags with a wee freckle. And then where I've actually like got blemishes or like old scar blemishes, I do full freckles there. And then it looks like it's just freckles and it's not a spot that I shouldn't have popped when I was 14. I love this full freckle pen. Soft brown, yeah I actually thought this was maybe blonde but it's soft brown and it's ideal. I actually find the other one a little too dark. I will do a close-up and if you think my faux freckles look like garbage that's totally okay it's still something I'm practicing and I know a lot of people don't like when people do faux freckles that's also okay the reason the world is interesting is because we all like can do different things oh yeah and some of them like should be a bit darker and should be a bit bigger because that's what like real freckles look like so that's when I go in with this one which is dark brown and just like maybe make a couple here and there a bit darker or a little bit bigger that kind of thing just to trick everyone into thinking I've got beautiful freckly skin ah eh? that's not too bad I quite like it if you don't tough tough then eyes 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 i'm going to take my beloved rimmel whatever this is called the nude eyeliner scandalize i've had this for far too long i really need a new one this is definitely too old 
waterline with this because this is going to make your eyes look bigger and more awake you all know this I actually picked up a Stila one in where was I Livingston designer outlet I went to the like makeup beauty outlet store so I got Stila Topaz which is really good but I want to like use some more affordable stuff as well as some more expensive stuff because that's nicer and um, just remembered I haven't taken my hair to min. I'm almost finished three months of this. Garbage does nothing. And I said I would update you all on how it went. It's done nothing. Okay next is eyes and I've been doing a cat eye. That's because it's pretty and I've been using oh I've been using eyebrow products for this specifically my XX Revolution brow pomade in dark brown just because I feel like black is quite intense and it's black and there's like you know my makeup's all about being subtle not black so anyway I'm going to take this on my Zoeva 317 this is the only eyebrow brush I will ever use but this is my spare one and I'm gonna do a small, but perfectly formed, we'll see, wing. You know me, I'm absolutely shocking. Oh, hold on. Look what I have, Be Perfect Mirror. They actually sent me a package the other day to sing, oh thanks for buying and reviewing our palette, here's the rest of the collection. So I still need to try the glosses and the highlighters actually. Um, I should really do a full face first impressions today, but I don't know. I don't really want to like sit and have to analyze makeup. I just want to put makeup on that I like have been enjoying, and then go out and drive my car because I love driving. Oh, I actually was thinking the other day I should literally be an Uber driver in my spare time because I love driving that much. I was actually thinking how ace would it be to be a lorry driver because I love driving. But I'd be really scared driving a lorry. Just popping this on. And just the brown. It matches my brows. It matches my four freckles. It would match my hair if I didn't dye it pink. I just think it looks really nice. And then I'll just... I mean, you know how it be. You do a wee wing. If you do make it a wee bit bigger than you meant to, who cares? Just rock a really bold wing. Imagine like, oh! Imagine editing videos wasn't an option. Like whatever you were doing, you had to just upload it as it was. My videos would be so unbelievably long. No one would ever watch them, ever. I'm just gonna take a wee bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Pomade Concealer. This brush doesn't have a name. And because my base is unset, it's so easy to clean up. and just make it look way better. Oh, lovely wing, look at that! Melissa! <laughs> I'm gonna do my other one off camera though. Give me a gif. Oh, it's hot, it is hot. I am gonna take my favorite natural false lashes, my Eyelure 217s, I think they're 217s. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Put a wee bit of lash glue on. On the band, I don't want to put it on my eye because I've not got enough makeup on to like hide it. Totally just curl your lashes, put some mascara on, minor pitiful. Um, so I I like a false lash. I always feel like it opens up my eyes, makes me look makes me look better. And they're so natural. I actually need to buy more of these. Plunk this on. I was wearing these yesterday actually. I did manage to rescue them. Like, I'll take my lashes off and I'll put them in my handbag. I would never really do a look like this and put on like a thick, dramatic lash. I just want something that's almost, like people would think, oh, she's got fantastic lashes. My lash glue's still drying, but see the difference? It just, everything. It goes with a wing, 
which is lovely. Oh, I totally managed to match my wings, I think. Like, pretty well, right? So eye-opening with a wee lash. Um, and then I will put a wee bit of mascara on just to fix my lashes. This is the Rimmel Wonder Lux. I quite like the brush. Just pop my own lashes in with the falsies. Ta -da, da -da 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 -da. Other lash and then we'll finish off with a lip, a bit of sight and spray, fix the hair. This is going to be a long video, it's not meant to be, it's supposed to be a very short video. This makeup takes me maximum an hour and that's when I'm just relaxing and doing it. But obviously because I'm filming and talking, it's taking me way longer but yeah, this is very fast. I have then just been putting on lip balm, like sometimes I do a bold lip, but usually it's just lip balm. I'm gonna use my lippy ink, yummy, no I'm not. That is the wrong one I picked out my drawer. Glow Super Balm in Pink Diamond, cause it's a shimmery pink. Very girly, isn't it? I just put a wee bit on and smear it out. I don't understand people that wear gloss under a mask. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. Big time. Then, last step, setting spray, you know, this is a favourite, Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. I adore it. Fan it off. When my niece was here, she was killing herself laughing at my fan. She doesn't understand. She does not understand. Dunzo. That is the face. The face is looking glorious, I know. <laughs> I actually slept in these braids last night. Oh, fake nails make everything so difficult. Come at me, boys. It actually feels like summer weather and we're in like the end of September. Global warming feels quite real. <laughs> Kidding, I know it's a hoax usually just been rolling with messy hair, don't care. Just because I don't care. There's nothing that I can do to make my hair look good, ever. I am gonna go throw on some clothing and that'll be the end of our glow up. Um, let me show you. We close up my face. So natural, why? So natural. Why? It's just a little confidence boost in makeup, you know? Like I said, miss out the false lashes, put on a bold lip, do what you want. I can't tell you what to do. You can't tell me what to do. We're all friends here. Here then is my makeup in natural light. The sun's actually on that side of the building, so you can't, it's not super duper sunny. I hope it's, is it too bright? That'll oh, be too bright. I'll darken it a bit. That is my face in the natural light. I think it looks pretty good and it doesn't look too different to like my, the rest of my skin, I don't think. I'm happy. That's all that counts. <laughs> I'm happy. Look at this glorious day. Look at that, eh? What have you, you're all getting? <laughs> oh, it's too dark. Beautiful day. Look at the hills. There we have it then. I am finished. Sorry it was such a long video. Most likely when I go to edit it, I'll be kicking myself. But I just feel so much better about my face. I am going to go driving now. I also think I'm going to swing past TK Maxx because Kelly just put up on our chat on WhatsApp that they have heaps of Pro Fusion and I want to get quite a lot of it to test it in a video because Elena is almost banging on about it. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna piss off. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, I'll piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. I'll catch you later.